Good evening from Washington, D.C. I'm Michael Steele, in for Chris Hayes. As a real estate developer, Donald Trump loved to put his name on OPP, other people's buildings. Now he's about to pull off a similar rebranding on the Republican National Committee, and it's going to end up pretty much like his failed Atlantic City casino. After forcing one-time ally Ronna McDaniel as, out as RNC chair, Trump endorsed his own daughter-in-law for co-chair. Today, Laura Trump spoke at CPAC, laying out her plan. Ladies and gentlemen, I come bearing good news here today because less than nine months away from changing all that, we will see Donald J. Trump elected as the 47th president. By going all in on his capitulation to Trump, the party of fiscal responsibility is making an atrocious investment. Trump's rise has led to a diminished Republican Party, electorally, financially, and in fidelity to conservative values. Trump has led the Republican Party on an embarrassing losing streak, despite promises the GOP would, quote, get tired of winning. A few things to keep in mind. The party is losing money, ending last year without its, with its lowest fundraising totals in a decade. Laura Trump has not ruled out paying her father-in-law's mounting legal bills. Donald Trump is the ultimate rhino. Yeah, that's right, he's a rhino, Republican in name only. Because as president, Trump abandoned free trade, racked up huge deficits, and cozied up to authoritarians. And for nearly a decade, the Republican Party has been consumed by Trump's chaos, division, grifters, and conspiracy theories. Now it appears this once great party wants more of the same. Yeah, so much for winning. I'm joined now by Sabrina Siddiqui, a White House reporter for The Wall Street Journal, McKay Coppins, a staff writer for The Atlantic, and Lucy Caldwell, a veteran Republican strategist who served as campaign manager for former Illinois congressman and my buddy Joe Walsh. Thank you all for being here. So, Lucy, I, I want to begin with you on this one. Could you give us some sense, just some inkling of a sense, of how Donald Trump managed this complete takeover of the RNC now and what it says about the party currently and going forward? Well, Michael, of course, you know about this better than anyone based on your own record. And you know by your own record that this is really something's gone wrong. After Donald Trump became president, he did something kind of unprecedented. He actually went about systematically removing state party chairs throughout the country, really shoring up the committee to make sure that, like his base, he it was full of loyalists. I think it's easy in an episode like this to lose sight of what it is that a national party does. What does the Republican National Committee do, or what is it supposed to do? It's supposed to recruit candidates, you know, uh, create data and technology resources for candidates. It's supposed to build up volunteer bases. It's supposed to create infrastructure to make it easier for candidates to win, to recruit high-quality candidates, to make them successful. In the Trump era, we've seen that the Republican committee is focused on doing the opposite. And as Laura Trump herself said this week, now they're even contemplating paying Donald Trump's legal bills. That would be, you know, sort of in line with Trump doing things like using campaign funds to pay a quarter of a million dollars a year to his wife's hairstylist. So it's true that behind the scenes, maybe they have a slightly more serious person in Michael Watley, who's the chair of the North Carolina Republican Party, who is Trump's pick for chair. But Laura Trump should be nowhere near the co-chairship of, of the RNC. And I never thought I would say this, but I think her talents would actually be better spent uh, recording covers of Tom Petty songs. And she's not very good at that either. Well, there, there is that. <laughs> Sabrina, I, I think there are a couple of interesting points here, uh, particularly around the money piece. I mean, given, given where the party is financially right now, what have you discovered from your reporting or learning from your reporting about whether or not the party is actually going to go through with paying these bills? Can they really afford to pay the bills and win elections? Well, the RNC certainly does not have the money to pay uh, former President Trump's legal bills. Um, you know, one of the main problems that they've had is that a lot of donors have not actually been willing to cut uh, large checks mm -hmm. to the RNC, in part because they don't want that money going to former President Trump. And so I don't think that Laura Trump's comments are going to help with their fundraising capabilities, at least with a faction um, of the Republican donors, because that is a big concern that mm -hmm. that money is going to be used for his extensive legal bills rather than propping up 
other Republican candidates and just the broader pursuit, not just of taking back the White House, but also of gains in Congress. But we've seen this Trumpification of the entire Republican political apparatus mm -hmm. that's been really years in the making. I mean, you know, fealty to Trump has actually been a hallmark of the RNC, even under, you know, its you know, soon to be outgoing leadership. I mean, Ronna McDaniel really took every possible step to appease um, for former President Trump, now candidate Trump. It was just that, you know, she went on withholding the debates. Um, you know, that right. was one of the sort of, and didn't maybe do enough uh, in his eyes to uh, go after uh, what he said was election fraud, and we all know was actually a lie and a free and fair election. So, right. so you know, I don't, I, I don't think that, you know, no matter what the RNC says about paying or not paying his legal bills or the Trump campaign suggesting that they won't pay his, the U.S. RNC pays legal bills. I think we know that, you know, the RNC and all of the, the you know, Republican uh, political apparatus would very much be used to do whatever Trump tells them to do.